the end of 2021, the most famous sci-fi franchise of them all will be returning for a fourth round. The fourth installment of the Matrix series is finally coming, and today we're going to tell you all about the leaked information about it and everything we know so far. Recap The Matrix 4 is only a few months away from its release, we finally got the sequel we were expecting for a long time. Confirmed at CinemaCon in August 2021, the fourth movie is officially called The Matrix Resurrections, as an earlier leak had claimed. However, we had to wait for a trailer a little bit more as it was released on the 9th of September. The movie was not expected to return until 2022, but Warner Brothers surprisingly moved the fourth installment up to December 2021. The Matrix 4 was officially announced back in 2019 with Lana Wachowski writing and directing it, but Lily Wachowski didn't feel the same about the franchise as she said that she needed a break from it, and the idea of returning to the franchise was expressly unappealing to her. Nevertheless, Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss are back, but Lawrence Fishburne and Higo Weaving probably won't be for reasons, but more on that a little bit later. So without further ado, let's jump right in and see where things stand right now. What? You don't know me. No? Release date and trailer as for the release date of things, the movie has had some changes but nothing major. First scheduled for a release on May 21, 2021, The Matrix 4 was pushed back as a result of filming delays, with the official release date being set as April 1, 2022. However, a pleasant development of the whole project saw Warner Brothers moving the release date forward to December 22, 2021, the date set for the movie's release, a date which will not go under any more changes, putting the fourth sequel of The Matrix in competition with The King's Man. In an unprecedented move, Warner Brothers is releasing all of its 2021 movies on HBO Max and in cinemas simultaneously in the US, which means that all subscribers of the streaming platform will be able to watch Neo's return on the 22nd of December this year as well. The movie will be available for one month from its cinema release date, and the international release of the movie is unaffected as, currently, HBO Max is only available in the US. The filming of the movie wrapped in November 2020 after some delays due to the ongoing global pandemic situation. And a little side note for you, the movie was supposed to release on the same day as Keanu Reeves' John Wick 4, although the two films are not separated with the fourth installment of John Wick releasing on May 21, 2022. But fans are still holding firm that Neo and Wick are somehow connected. Keep that in mind. As for a trader, it's out there. It was available for everyone around the world on September 9th, and if you haven't already watched it, you definitely go and delve deep into all the mysteries like we did. You might find something interesting. Cast As we've mentioned before, Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss are back as Neo and Trinity, spoiler alert, despite both characters being dead at the end of the third movie. Reeves explained that the sole reason for his return is the beautiful script written by Lana Wachowski, which tells a wonderful story that resonated with him. We've had our first glimpses of the two back in action, and while they start as not remembering, it seems like they get right back in action. They'll be joined by Daniel Bernhardt, who is reprising his role as Agent Johnson, and Jada Pinkett Smith is back as Niobe, making her return after being part of the second and third sequel. Lambert Wilson is apparently back as the Merovignian, which means that if he's back, the chances of Monica Bellucci making her return as the Merovignian's wife, Persephone, are even higher. Probably the most exciting new addition to the cast is Aquaman and Watchmen star Yahya Abdul-Mateen II. Unconfirmed rumors say that he will be playing a younger version of Morpheus, but Yahya said that even though he would love to talk about the Matrix, he'll not spill any secrets. In the trailer, he looks a lot like Morpheus, he even offers Neo the red pill, however, there's still no official confirmation he's actually Morpheus. But what of the original Morpheus, Lawrence Fishburne? He confirmed in August 2020 that he has not been invited to be in the fourth movie, however, it's not quite clear why, and if that entirely rules out Morpheus appearing completely. How I Met Your Mother star Neil Patrick Harris has signed on to the cast for a significant role and has already praised the intimate filming atmosphere, with Marvel star Jessica Henwick set to play a leading role in the movie. New additions to the casting group are Mindhunter and Frozen star Jonathan Groff alongside Priyanka Chopra Jonas, Spartacus star Ellen Hallman, and iZombie actor Andrew Caldwell. All of them added to the casting group, however, we still don't know anything about how they'll be playing in the movie, with the exception of Chopra teasing that her character will be something you don't expect. 
Sense8 fans will see a few familiar faces with Toby Onwamir, Brian J. Smith, and Arendira Ibarra all joining the cast. One star of the franchise who won't be back for yet another sequel is Hugo Weaving as Agent Smith, with the actor confirming in January 2020 that the franchise is pushing forward without him. And last but not the least, another actor who's not returning for the sequel is Gina Torres and her character Cass. Plot Even though we got a trailer prior to this video, we're still not quite sure of which way the movie will go, so we'll have to make do with what we've got from it. It seems like Neo has gone back to being Thomas Anderson and has been taking prescription blue pills, he even runs into Trinity at a coffee shop but they don't seem to recognize each other. Luckily, he meets Yahya's character and is given a red pill, totally changing his world, just like what happened in the first movie. As for what happens after that, it's still unknown, but it looks like Neo has some new powers, like stopping actual missiles. Outside of the trailer, Lana said that she will not be revealing anything, so we guess it's theory time. We'll have to make do, thus maybe the movie will see Trinity as the one or that they're all clones. Right now, from the trailer, we can tell by Neo's buzz cut here that he'll be stepping outside the Matrix again in the fourth movie. The screenplay of the fourth movie will be co-written by Lana Wachowski, The Lazarus Project author Alexander Heyman, and Cloud Atlas author David Mitchell. And judging by what we have on our hands, the movie will be dense considering the past works of the three. We now know that the original intention of the Matrix trilogy was to be a trans allegory. Lily Wachowski, who's not part of the fourth movie, recently explained how the series was made from a closeted point of view. As many critics stated, the trilogy at the time was so ahead of its time that the theme of the movie is something talked about in the years we're living in today, more than 18 years later than the last of the three movies way back. Reeves also teased that the movie has a beautiful script which also features a love story, yet another version of a wake-up call, so to speak, entertaining, yet filled with great action, all of it waiting to be unwrapped when the movie itself releases. The movie can be expected to have some game-changing special effects, just like all previous Matrix movies, but now, many years later, with much finer equipment, Lana bound to do some even more interesting things on a technical level, the same way she managed way back creating her own style of work, maybe changing the industry again with this movie, just like she did back then. Hi. Have we met? On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the franchise as a whole, but also this new sequel coming back as part of that franchise more than 18 years later, and also don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.